Shalom. First and foremost, uh, I'd like to give all praise and some glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shad Bahashem, Rakat Kardash, double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. <coughs> so the and shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. I say uh, shout out to you, uh, Akim out there. And this is a quick uh, sit down lesson once again on this uh, March the 20th, 2022, on this uh, Sunday morning, uh, 1250 a.m. Central Standard Time. And <clears throat> the title of this uh, quick sit down lesson is going to be uh, Thou shalt be visited, the Lord of hosts, with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise and tempests of flames of devouring fire. And the reason why I brought out this article, I mean, the reason why I uh, named this title that because. Um, it was this news article that I was looking at. I mean, even though we so so uh, accustomed to uh, seeing these things, which is normal to, you know, it, this is typically typically uh, normal, but, you know, you're starting to, like, see the increases of this, you know, throughout the years, you know, especially for the past two years, you know, been seeing... You know, like for the past two or three years, you've been seeing the constantly consistent seeing, uh, you know, the wildfires uh, around the world. You know, you know, you've been seeing it in uh, parts of uh, North Korea and South Korea and uh, parts in the West Coast. Now you're seeing it in Texas. You know, you've been seeing it now. It's starting to increase around the world. You know, you see these wildfires. Because, you know, for the past few years, you've been seeing the increase, even though sometimes it might be intended intentionally by people might set fires in the wildfire forest areas in the parts of uh, California, you know, or any places that's like wildfire forest areas and stuff like that. And it, sometimes people might do it intentionally, you know. But, uh... You know, this is a news article right here. You know, uh, I just seen just now, you know, that even though this was uh, uh, published on the uh, 18th of March uh, 2022 on Friday. And the highlight of this news article, and it reads, uh, Texas declares state of emergency as wildfires force evacuations. You know, that's how it's been like in California as well, too, for the past few years and recently as well, too. You know, being seeing these uh, high uh, evacuations, and these uh, wildfires that's destroying people's homes and stuff like that, destroying their cars and their personal belongings, you know, tearing up towns and stuff like that. And that's why you've been seeing the increase of these things, you know. And I'm wondering this uh, news article. You know, the Texas government, Greg, about issue an emergency order in 11 counties Friday night. A rapid growing wildfire has consumed more than 50,000 acres and forced evacuation statewide. It says why it matters. Approximately 500 people have been evacuated and 50 homes were destroyed in central Texas after a mass wildfire scorched up words of tens of thousands of acres over the past two days the New York Times reported <coughs> Salakia it says Fire firefighters responded to at least 10 wildfires that scorched 52,708 acres on March the 17th, 2022, according to the Texas A&M -A -A meant to say Salaki, Forest Service. At least one person has died. Texas officials identified the victim as Deputy Deborah F Fentley 
who lost her life while trying to save others from the fire. Why, what, what they are saying, I command the hard work and selfish acts of thousands of first responders and firefighters who are risking their own lives to protect our community. Governor, Governor Abbott says, I ask Texans to join me in praying for those who have been affected by those by these wildfires, including the Eastland County Deputy Deborah Finley, who were tragically killed while trying to save lives. We will, we will never forget her sacrifice, Abbott says. It says the details, the Eastland Complex fire includes a number of blaze and biggest uh, being the kid fire, official says, which is alone engulf roughly 30,000 acres. Ever shifting winds and extremely dry conditions are largely responsible for triggering the massive wildfires, according to the governor's release. Wildfires ignite under these uh, forecast conditions are highly restrained to um, firefighters suppressions efforts and posing a threat to public safety fire chief west moorhead of texas a and m forest service also said this week so yeah, you know, and it goes back into the scriptures of uh, Isaiah twenty nine and six, and I'm gonna go back to that, and I'm gonna read it for edification of this lesson. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah chapter twenty nine verse six through the holy scriptures in verse six in the book of Isaiah. Thou shalt be visited with the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise and with storms and tempests and the flames of devouring fire, right? Just like I brought out that news article, you know, Texas, uh, like the central part of Texas where the forest area belongs to in that area, in that region down there in Texas, you know, they declared a state of emergency, you know. And a whole bunch of acres of uh, that land mass over there been burnt up with fire, you know, with uh, heavy mass wildfires, you know, and, and one and one official, you know, they lost their life trying to save others, you know, and a lot of people been evacuated, you know, destroying their homes, their properties, and everything. You're gonna see an increase of that. Of flames of devouring fire with these uh, wildfires, you know, with these uh, strong earthquakes and these strong storms and these strong tornadoes ripping through uh, people, ripping through whole communities and everything like that. So you're going to see strong thunderstorms, strong floodings, uh, strong earthquakes in diverse places. A high magnitude of these things of earthquakes around the world is going to increase intensify in these last days because you know this is the year of uh yahweh bashim al shah is turning up on things and he's constantly consistently doing it you know and expect to see more of a increase of these wildfires around the world you know especially throughout the whole united states you're going to see more continuous of these wildfires not just only in California, we so accustomed to seeing in the last, what, two, about a couple of years. Now we start seeing it in uh, different parts of the United States, you know. <coughs> You're going to see it around the world as well, too. Not just only here in the daughter of Babylon, which is modern-day Babylon today, according to the Holy Scriptures. You know, you're going to see, you know... Uh, huge wildfires that cause a lot of massive damage, you know, around the world. You're going to see that increase in these last days. So, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out uh, with this quick sit-down lesson on this uh, March the 20th, uh, 2022, on this uh, Sunday morning. 
And I hope this uh, quick sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahushua. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bashem, Bakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out on to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say, Shalom.